Scruffy, the freight truck, had not been out for a long time. Everywhere he looked, engines were busy huffing and puffing about the station. He sat just outside Knapford. He was all alone and cross. Huh? And whenever Scruffy did go out, he would get teased by passing by engines like Diesel because of what happened with his fiasco with Oliver some years ago. Oliver doesn't think about what happened. He carries on with his work, trying to forget about Scruffy. It no longer matters to him, as Oliver proved he was superior. Scruffy has a brother named Broffy. He is much more troublesome, and he feels very much bad for his brother, getting torn apart by Oliver, and he hopes to one day get his revenge. Philip shunted into the station, and he came up. Surprise, Scruffy, he said happily. Good morning. What do you want? I was having a nap, said Scruffy. Sorry, said Philip. I have to put you in a train, he said. You're going to Great Waterton today. But why, said Scruffy. Because, said Philip. So talk Matt's orders, he said as he arranged the train. <laughs> Scruffy was cross. Bruffy was upset when Philip bumped him. What do you want, said Bruffy. We're going to be in a train today, said Philip. Bruffy was cross. I was napping too. I don't like that, Philip, he said. Neither do I, said Scruffy. They both wanted to take Philip out, but Bruffy was more interested in this. Whose train is this anyway, said Bruffy. This is Duck's train, said Philip. Duck is taking you to Great Waterton where he will meet Oliver to take you guys to the Little Western. Oh, said Scruffy. Just then, Duck arrived. <laughs> Hello, said Duck. Hi, whistled Philip. He honked his horn happily. Take us away, said Scruffy and the other cars. So Duck did, and he pulled them along. <laughs> Duck saw that the trucks were grumbling more than usual. What's wrong, if I may ask? It's that Philip. We want to get rid of him. But why, asked Duck. Because he's so annoying, replied the trucks. We want to take him out. I'll have to see with this with Oliver, said Duck. He was worried. Oliver was waiting with some more trucks when Duck pulled up. <laughs> Oliver, said Duck, we've got a huge problem. What is it, said Oliver. He didn't like when Duck said those faithful words. It's Scruffy. He and the other trucks want to take out Philip. Will you stop telling lies, said Scruffy. It's not me. It's my brother back there, Bruffy. He's the one who gets wants to get rid of Philip. Not me, I'm just the one passing on the message. But why do you all want to get rid of Mr. Philip? Said Toad. He is a friend of ours. Um, how exactly is this a big problem? Said Oliver. Because Philip is our friend, said Duck. And we shouldn't let something like this happen to Philip if it should. But if I may... You yourself never even liked Philip when he first arrived. You were so angry at him. You were so angry that you even tried to play a trick on him. I know, said Duck. But some end and, said Oliver, you almost had him in trouble with the fat controller one time. Yes, but I've grown to like him, said Duck. And I know you all can too. So we should all rethink this before any silliness happens. It's Scruffy's call, said Oliver. Don't hurt Philip, said Duck. Scruffy and Bruffy were in the yard having a conversation. So the plan is, said Bruffy, we push Philip down the hill and he'll be off the tracks. 
Scruffy wasn't so sure he was on board with this plan. Are you on board with this plan? said Bruffy. Scruffy was torn. He wanted to help Philip now, thanks to Duck's words. <laughs> I don't know, said Scruffy. Well, make up your mind, said Bruffy. We're doing the plan tomorrow. Oliver and Duck arrived in Napford Station the next morning when they saw Philip pulling away with Scruffy, Bruffy, and four other freight cars full of cattle material. Oh, here it goes, said Duck. Philip and the cars are making excellent time up Gordon Hill. <laughs> they rise to the top. Hold back, said Scruffy. No, forwards, said Bruffy. Hold back, hold back. Boy, you are troublesome, Scruffy. The others are right, said Philip. No, I'm not, said Scruffy. And with that, the coupling between Bruffy and the last cattle truck broke, and he flew backwards and into a siding and right upside down. <laughs> Ouch, said Bruffy. Carla came racing down the hill with the express. Oh, sorry, said Bruffy. <laughs> Oliver and Duck were in the yards talking with Scruffy. They were pleased with his plan. Wow, you certainly did a number on your brother. I can't believe you tricked him. Ah, eh, well. I was shocked myself the way you rixed your relationship with your brother to help a friend like Philip. Scruffy didn't mind, but he knew that wasn't be the last that they would see of Bruffy. <laughs> Thank you.